While the Gulf of Maine appears vast and without borders, it is, in reality, an area well managed by generations of fishermen who feed our nation with healthy, sustainably harvested seafood. One of the things that's very important to remember and think about um, in any of these conversations is the way in which we talk about fishing um, in the United States. It's unfortunate that we say things like commercial fishing sometimes because for some people I think that conjures images that are of huge businesses and destruction. Whereas fishing that occurs in the United States tends to be most often small businesses, family businesses. You know, it's very seasonal. I think in some worlds it might be called something like artisanal. And it's important to remember that, that, that these are family, family businesses, just like we have family farms. Well, I'm a father of five and we, we make our living off of the ocean. So, you know, it's look, looking after our family at this point, that's, that's what feeds us. And looking at the future for my children and a couple of my boys and one of my daughters who are interested in, in going into the lobstering business, we want to preserve, you know, what's really a special heritage is here on the coast of Maine. Our family has fished these waters for over 200 years. You know, we want to protect these waters. We want to preserve these waters, not just for us, but for future generations. Yes, we need renewable energy. Yes, we need to look at other sources, but we need to do it right and smart. Being a fisherman is the best thing in the world to me. I really can't imagine doing anything other than fishing, being out on the water. Absolutely, absolutely industrializing the Gulf of Maine will destroy families. It'll destroy legacies. What we have here in, in the Gulf of Maine and these small communities along the coast of Maine is, is unique. It's, it's one of a kind. Um, we need to do everything we can do to protect it and preserve it, not industrialize it and ruin it. It's been good to us and we want to make sure it's good for everybody else in the future. I'm the fourth generation, I think. My great grandfather, I got what got to do it. Great grandfather, my grandfather, my father, me and my brothers. That's four generations. I think if you take the fishing out of the equation, then this town will never be the same. We've been fishing this, you know, there's generations and generations of fishermen that have been fishing the Gulf of Maine for hundreds of years. And it's so, like, great to know that my family has a root that's so embedded into the earth that nothing can take it away from it. The Cushman name will live in Port Clyde forever, in my eyes, along with many other names. But for every, every young kid growing up today, like I said, that wants to be on the, on the water, I want to see it happen and gambling on offshore wind is, is not the answer. It's not, it's not worth the gamble. Maine's fishing community is deeply concerned that wind development will end our fishing heritage, which has sustained our coastal communities for centuries and is an integral part of Maine's identity. As a fourth generation lobster fisherman, uh, myself and hundreds of other guys who harvest sustainably from the Gulf of Maine, we know what's out there. We know the water better than anybody. And for a foreign company to come in and talk about industrializing this life that we have, this life that's been built over years and years of hard work is just unimaginable. I think most fishermen, most lobster fishermen, you know, they look to the future and hope that they can pass it along to their children, you know, for their family, for anybody who wants a piece of it. We've taken well care of it and it's a tradition that needs to be passed on. 
and we want to make sure that that actually happens. I have a two-year-old daughter, Ivy Jean, which my uh, lobster boat was named after, and uh, she has a strong future if we can continue on the sustainable path that the lobster fishery has had. Our way of life is going to be interrupted by these large wind turbines, and having them in the Gulf is going to be a problem for not just me and my family, but many other fishermen. I think there's plenty other places for wind turbines. Uh, on some of the richest grounds in the Gulf of Maine, is, is probably not a great place to start. There's nothing more than American than what we got here. People talk about how unique the coastal Maine is in the, the little communities. I can't even put it in words how important having small communities and a way of life is, not just to us in Maine, but around the world. We ask you to stand with Maine's coastal fishermen and protect the Gulf of Maine.